my dear brothers and sisters when you have a crisis in your life when you have a tension struggle stress and problem in your life when you face some kind of sickness in your life the more you think about the crisis you will fall into depression the more you think about sickness which you are affecting affected with then you will get scared and frightened so what are you supposed to do with the moment you see a crisis in front of you the moment you see a sickness when you face a sickness in your life the moment you see a big problem which was which is beyond your capacity and control don't think too much about this but think about the past the way god has protected you in many dangers from many dangers that is why in the bible we see every time when there is a crisis among israel god sent angels to speak to them and remind them how god brought them out of egypt we read like this judges chapter 2 when israel is were in crisis and they were attacked by all their enemies god sent an angel chapter 2 verse 1 on words we read like this god sent an angel an angel of the lord went up from gilgal to bokim and said i brought you up from the egypt and i brought you into the land that i had promised to your ancestors and i said i will never break my covenant with you remember this i brought you out of egypt i healed you i gave you manna i have protected you i led you through the wilderness therefore don't worry praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus we read in the first samuel chapter 17 we read like this an incident of goliath and david when goliath came against the israelites all the whole israel including the king saul was so scared and they were afraid to go even closer to this man goliath they knew this goliath one single handedly he will destroy the whole israel and everyone was hiding including the king was hiding he was so shocked and scared and that is when the small boy he came in front of the king and said i will defeat this goliath this small boy david then saul looked at him and he found he so small and he asked him have you ever ex- had in any experience of fighting a battle then he said i never saw even a battle i didn't join i didn't i never had any experience then saul was so discouraged and saul said how can i send you against this man huge man goliath he will cut you into pieces and then david says like this First Samuel chapter 17 verse 33 onwards we read like this King Saul said to David you are not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him for you are just a boy and he has been a warrior from his youth you are just a boy you are a shepherd boy then verse 34 we read like this but David said to Saul your servant used to keep sheep for his father and whenever a lion or a bear came and took a lamb from the flock i went after it and struck it down and rescued the lamb from its mouth and if it turned against me i would catch it by the jaw and strike it down and kill it he was telling the king how strong i was with the help of god in the past god helped me to do all these things though i am a small boy I was able to kill even lions and bears. I have your servant has killed both lions and bears and these uncircumcised to Philistine shall be like one of them since he has defied the armies of the living God. I serve the army of the living God. I serve the Lord of God, Lord of the armies. This God has helped me to kill the lions and bears. Therefore I'm not scared of this man. my dear brothers and sisters in the past the same god who who is able to deliver you from the clutches of the enemy has protected you and healed you and blessed you many crises you faced in the past and you came out 
came out of it untouched therefore this problem is no more a problem for you so think like this think about the past blessings then you will be able to face the today's crisis think about how god has healed you in the past think about how god has healed many people in the past then you will be able to face the sickness that you are facing today